the born God. God sent him to sleep to do that. So let me ask you a question. How many fathers do you have? Two. How about you? How many fathers do you have? One. How about you? Okay. Well, that's. Turns out that guess what? You're both right. We all have one father who's God, our father above. We have a father that's a representative of him here on earth. Now, some people think that uh, being a father is an easy job, but it's not. It's one of the hardest jobs that you'll ever have that you'll love. Because we have to try to give an example of our Father above. And that's a large responsibility. And some men can do it, and some can't. There are men that, are, that have children, but they're not fathers. Because a father is someone who's special. A father is what I would say is what's in the name. So, maybe these things up. We'll go through them real quick because I'm going to take too much time. But, the effing father, to me, stands for forgiving. And that goes, how many times have you gotten in trouble for doing something and you get yelled at, but your father still loves you, doesn't he? Right? He forgives you, right? Just like our Father above. We commit sins all the time, but God always forgives us. And then the A in the Father is for always being there. That's a special one. Because some fathers are here on earth with us all the time, except when they go to work, things like that. But our Father above, He's with us all the time, 24-7. Whenever we need Him, we can call out His name, and He's there. He's there to help us. The T in Father is for teacher. Because what we're supposed to do as fathers is to teach you guys things. To teach you right from wrong. To teach you how to love which is one of the most important things. And the Bible even says that a life without love is just an existence. And we don't want to just exist. We want to live. That's what God gave, put us here for, was to live life and to love each other and to show each other love. The H in Father is for healer. How many times have you maybe fallen down and Scratch your knee or something like that. Dad picked you up. You got a boo boo? Yeah, look. So you got one right there. You got two of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dad picked you up. So, and he, he, he healed you up, and you got one over there, too? Come on. We've got boo boos everywhere, don't we? But our fathers, they're there to help heal us, right? Put medicine on, put a band on us. And our father above, he goes even farther because he helps heal our hearts. Sometimes we go through things that hurt. And it's not anything that a doctor can fix. But God's there, our father above, to heal our hearts. And the Eve and Father is for encouraging. He is there to encourage us, no matter how hard things get, no matter how tough a job is that you have to do, school work, whatever it is, he keeps encouraging us. You know when we don't do such a good job, right? That's right, with God. He keeps encouraging us. Keep moving forward. You know, don't give up. He's always there, right behind you. And the R in Father is for refuge. It's a 
defies all bounds because they give us a place to keep us safe. The Lord above our Father has given us a great refuge in His Son, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for our sins to forgive us so that we can be with Him and live life eternal. And it wasn't until I sat down and did this that I thought about something that I hear all the time um, that I never really thought about that I think is so special. When you hear Miss Christine pray, or Mr. Harvey pray, or Miss Jen pray, they started out by saying, Father God. And it really didn't hit me until doing this exactly what they were saying. It seems simple enough. But what they're doing is they're acknowledging the fact that God is their Father, first and foremost, above all else. And they're also acknowledging that they are children of God, just as we all are. And through my own experience, he had a very special thing that he got to do. He chose us. It wasn't a matter of, you know, uh, my mom and I have, have a baby or something like that. That's, that's a wonderful blessing. It's really special. But when you get to, to Choose your son or your daughter. That's pretty, pretty special. It's awesome. And God, our Father, chose all of us to be His children. I got to choose my son, Justin. To, to remember that. Yes, we all have, all have one Father. And whether our Father here on earth is with us or he's not, it doesn't matter because we are, always have the Father above to be there for us. Okay? So let's start and say a little prayer. Father God, thank you so much for these children these blessings, these precious gems that you've bestowed and put in our care. As fathers, we are so humble and so grateful to have that title, to do the things that you would want us to do. Help us to be strong. Help us to remember that we're your representatives here on earth and that these children have been given to us as a special, special gift. Thank you for choosing us to be your children, all of us. We ask that you be with them through this week and through it with everyone. Say this in your name. Amen. Amen. Well,